Libra. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 9th of June. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle decks. So starting off your overall energy, we've got the ace of teacups. Now the aces are all a new beginning and the ace of teacups brings in positive new emotions. So happiness, joy, optimism, all those lovely qualities coming in for you this week. Your help or your hurdle, the eight of wands says expect to get busy. Lots up in the air all at once for the best reasons. Here you are juggling lots of different things. So this could be the end of delays if things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stalled. Not anymore. This is the week when everything really gets going and you start to get very busy. What do you need to focus on? The four of wands is lovely. This is receiving with grace and gratitude. It's you being appreciated for everything that you do and all that you are. It's very easy to always be the giver and it's just as important to receive. How can you help yourself? The three of teacups is lovely. Reason to celebrate. Positive news coming in. Happiness and joy. Literally what it says on the card. Pulling it all together. We've got the two of wands. Now this is you moving forward. This is you working together alongside somebody else. And that's where the success can be found. It's only when they work together that the success is there. So you very much as part of a positive partnership, working alongside somebody else. And the Ten of Teacups is your final outcome card. Couldn't be better. It's happy home life, happy family life, emotional fulfillment. It's literally the happy ever after card. So you've got quite a few of the teacup suit in your first part of the reading. Very much happiness, joy and optimism. So let's get a little bit more detail from the Time to Shine deck. The Nine of Emotion is lovely. This is you enjoying dreams coming true, high levels of self-confidence, self-esteem. It's your time to shine. The seven of thought in your help or hurdle part of the reading is about you following your own new plans, closing the door on the old ways. So it might be that you change your mind, you change direction slightly, but very much a move towards doing things that you like and doing things which serve you very well, focusing on you and possibly in a new direction. What do you need to focus on? A change of plan. We were talking about here, possibly a change of plan. And here it is. The five of thought is you moving in a new direction, making new plans, but learning from experience. And here she is. Look, that's the old plan. And here's the brilliant new one. And this new one includes all of the things she's learnt from the old plan. So very much learning from experience. You've been there, you've done that, you've got the t-shirt. Working out what worked well, working out what didn't work so well and taking the wisdom from both of those things to get you moving in this new direction. How can you help yourself? Three of wisdom, two threes here. This is the Empress card in traditional tarot. So this says, take action, get busy. The Empress is very much about doing, not just thinking about doing or intending to do. She's busy. She's got her sleeves rolled up. She's got her apron on and she's working on those new ideas and those new projects. Pulling it all together, we've got the Ten of Life. This is lovely. Two tens in your reading here. This is enjoying quality family time, appreciating the little things which we know are the really important things. It's very much um, 
Financial security, peace of mind. It's, again, these are two of the happiest cards in the whole deck. Very much attached to family life, home life, work life. And your final outcome card, the 14 of wisdom. This keeps showing up. I think it's come out in every reading so far. The temperance card in traditional tarot. And this is about you bringing ideas together. It's about compromise. It's about talking things over. It's about balance. So no rush decisions, no rash decisions. Compromise, balance, talking things over, collaborations. So looking at your cards overall, happiness and joy, Dreams coming true and you having high levels of self-confidence. Focusing on new plans. It might be a slight change of direction this week and that's absolutely fine. Making sure that you put yourself into the new plans. Just start focusing on what you would like to do and where you would like to go. Expect to get busy. Lots going on all at once and you being very much appreciated for everything that you do and all that you are. Time for celebrations, time for success and then you getting busy on these new ideas. Where to next? Compromising, talking things over, having discussions, getting your new plan together and moving forward because the happiness, the success and the joy are absolutely waiting for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking and subscribing. It's free to do. Just click the button and it truly does support my channel and I'm ever so grateful for that. So Libra, have a lovely week. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you here again soon.